took me to the show. We went to the show and saw that EPMD DJ wasn't there. I don't know why, but they had a big half-inch reel, reel-to-reel on the stage, big-ass reel, and their bodyguard was hitting start and stop. I said, just follow my lead. Like, in the middle of your show, stop your tape. You know, I'm going to do some tricks, and, you know, I'm going to take my shirt off, and, you know, I'm going to cut the different parts of my body and all of that, and they was like, whatever. In the middle of the show, they stopped their tape. They was like, yo, uh, DJ Scratch. They, they didn't give me no intro, no special intro, anything. I was like, yeah. DJ Scratch, and they just walked to the front of the stage and, you know, shaking fans' hands, and then they noticed that the, the fans were screaming and but looking past them and not at them, and then when they looked back, they, they wasn't even listening to what I was doing. So when they turned around the scene, I was doing all of that, sh I said, and the crowd was going crazy. They was like, yo, that's our DJ, that's our mother DJ, yeah, 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 you know. And after that show, they was like, yo, you want to stay? I was like, hell yeah. And the rest was history. What's up? It's your boy DJ Scratch of VPMD, Scratch Vision President, and you're watching Crate Diggers. I love this series. I love it. I love the series. But Crate Digging is supposed to be when you go to your records, you got to pull out something that nobody's never seen and make them go, wow. Let me pull out something, like I said, to make, I'm not going to waste your time. OK. Um, LL Cool J, very first record. Test pressing, I need a beat. I, got, I had this record when the record came out, you know what I mean? Like, I, I, I bought this in the store. This was in the record store back, what was that, 85? You know, records that came, especially hip-hop, you didn't appreciate it, how special. It's, it's not special until years later anyway. So, like, a, a new album is not special. So, I'm glad I kept it, and now it's special. It's, it's priceless. Actually, I'm going to give it to Al, because I, I, I took a picture of it and sent it to him. I was like, I, I, I need you to autograph this for me. And he was like, yo, let me buy it. And I was like, he said, let me buy it because it has more sentimental value to me than you. And I was like, uh, you're lying. No, that, no, it doesn't. Nah. I was like, okay. I'm like, I'll just give it to you. You don't have to buy it. You know what I mean? Like, we, we made a lot of bread together. And I'm, I was honored to even work with him. So I'm going to give it to him, send it to him. So that's my duel. <laughs> If, you know, if I'm out with my mother, she's in a record store, or she's shopping and we go buy a record store, Ma, can, I, can, can you buy me a record? So she would buy me the record. So the first record that she bought me was, uh, well, actually, I bought it with my money, but, but the first record she bought me was this right here, Dancer Drummer's Beat, in 1978. It's, it's in fairly good shape, too, man. <laughs> I never really counted, man, because it's like, you know, buy records, they count like, okay, look, okay, I, okay, I'm at 50,000 now. You know, you know, real record heads don't really do that, you know what I mean? But I can't even give an average, but let's say like, uh, like the shelf over here, I got about 17 of those. And not hip hop, yeah. you know what I mean? Not hip hop either, like, not hip hop. The Luminary Break Beat, UFO, ESG. UFO, 45. Yes, 45. Yes, on 45. This particular record, uh, UFO, it's like, it's like psycho rock, but psych funk. And I'll give you a little story from the Brooklyn aspect. When this record came on, a robbery was definitely happening at the block party. If it came on in a club in Brooklyn, this is the robbery song. When this came on, we hear the boom. Boom, boom. Somebody's getting fing robbed. When you, you know, when you talk records with your other digging friends and you go, yo, do you got this? And they go, how did, no, what the, that don't exist. What are you talking about? So I'm like, okay. So let me pull out this. 
pull out this joint right here. This right here, and you see it's a mark on it, because I, like I said, I play my records. So no matter how rare it is, I play it. If it ain't sealed, I play it. This right here, bounce, rock, skate, 12 inch single, red. And I got two copies, by the way, so. My whole thing about when, when someone says rare records, like something to you might be rare, but might be basic to me and vice versa. So it's just like beauty. Beauty is an eye of the beholder, same thing with records. This joint right here, this is, um, this is a Budweiser commercial, but it was a, the, the soulful one because they had the regular Budweiser, duh, 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 you know, with the, with, with the Clydesdale horses and shit. And then they had the soul for one night <clears throat> with the LB. With the wah wah and all that. Crazy. This this joint right here, I don't know if it's rare or not, but this it, but it's a hot record when you play this joint. This is crazy. 1972. So you know how the music was back then. Because they had the market towards, you know, towards the towards the black audience also. Because you know, they did the beer and the malt liquor. The malt liquor was for the hood, the beer was for everybody else. So this was the soulful joint for the hood. I would end my routine standing on top of the turntables, you know, cutting in between my legs with my with my nuts on the on the crossfader, going back and forth like that. As I got up on top of the turntables and started going back and forth. Whoever set the table up didn't lock the legs, and the table fell. Bang! While I was standing up there, and the whole crowd was like, ah! And I don't know, God's grace, I don't know who was looking over me, but when the table fell, the needles jumped, and they landed on a kick and a snare. And I kept going. So I just started making a beat. Boom. And it, the crowd went crazy. Don't even ask how I got this. But like I said, if you pull out some hip hop sh you gotta pull out some hip hop. That's some sh This right here is the Beastie Boys, Slow and Low. But it's with Run DMC saying the vocals because they wrote that song. And this is the song with Run DMC referencing the vocals for Slow and Low over a different beat. Slow and Low, let yourself go. Slow and Low, that is the tempo. That's this right here. So this is digging in the mother crates. See, I never put records in the bottom because if you have a flood, this is, these records right here will be the first to get damaged, so. Uh, this is like all library albums. Every record in this crate right here, it's all drum breaks, just drums, breaks. Orchestra music, because I'm a big fan of that. This right here is the Bloods and Crips. Bloods, it's all red vinyl. Crips is all blue. From here all the way to here, it's just real disgusting beats and grooves. This is like, this right here is like the Luminary break, Breaks and Beats. You know, the, the UBBs, but the original, the originals, the original pressings of them. All soundtracks. Soundtracks, soundtrack, soundtracks. All beats, 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 beats. Let's go upstairs to the little records. All hip hop, all the way, all the way down, all the way down. Right here's all funk 45s, all funk breaks. Something you might have never seen before. Law Finesse. Baby, you're nasty. I should actually show this to Law Finesse. He was like, what the f how the f you get that? Big Daddy Kane set it off. Somebody might be watching like, this is, this is probably a bootleg. No bootleg, son. Oh no, this is ain't no half-stepping. This is ain't no half-stepping. I got set it off somewhere in here. Call me D-Nice. 
I actually got uh, one of these copies autographed because I always collect autographs because I'm a fan of hip hop. I was a fan before I became the man. And once Michael Jackson passed away, God bless his dead, this vinyl shot up through the roof, man. Like, just the value of any of his vinyl, like, not, not even a color vinyl, but this is Billie Jean, 12 inch single red. Shake your body down to the ground. And this is a different edit of it also. Red vinyl, 12 inch single. Let me give y'all a little hint, because you know, a lot of people are buying 45s, and everybody's 45 crazy. Get your 12 inch single together. Step your 12 inch single game together. You know what this is right here. Thriller, 12 inch single, red. The Jacksons, can you feel it? Red. I don't, don't tell nobody that I got this, all right? Can y'all, can y'all read that? Y'all know what this is, right? This is the acetate. Michael Jackson, off the wall, acetate. Don't tell nobody I got this. This joint right here, I'm not gonna tell you where I got this from, man. Diana Ross and Michael Jackson. He's on down the road. Acetate, <laughs> 45. <laughs> That was that Matrix slow motion. I had this conversation with Grandmaster Flash. I told Flash, I said, Flash, when is the last time the crowd looked at you when you DJ? And he was like, what do you mean? I said, when you started DJing and the crowd is surrounded around you, you're Grandmaster Flash. They're gonna, they, they wanna look. He was like, I can't really, really recall. I said, you know why? Because you're not on vinyl. You know, the Serato and, and Tractor and all of that, it's not special anymore because anybody can do it. Everybody has it, but everybody doesn't have vinyl. So as big as Serato got, and I love Serato, don't get me wrong, I love Serato. I DJ with Serato a lot. I DJ with vinyl a whole lot. But what I've noticed is the more DJs that never spun before, never touched vinyl, that are on Serato, they don't know the value of vinyl. There's no way they could know, you know what I mean? So they don't even count when they make that statement. When I told Flash that his next gig, he took out vinyl and he called me, he was like, scratch. Everybody was surrounded around the turntables. I said, exactly. One because your Grandmaster Flash. Two, because you're on vinyl. And your Grandmaster Flash.